Good evening, folks. Different kind of boot and rally here to finish off yesterday's topic. Etna Volcano, known to have produced pyroclastic flows into the ocean and major tsunamis in the past, but now it may not need to erupt to do so. The southeastern flank is already sliding and could even just be one good quake away from doing so. The scientists say it is going down regardless of quakes or volcanoes, given enough time. The number one question we saw after last night's video was about when the tsunamis would strike and how bad they would be. We'll begin close by with the YouTube famous Ingomar 200. His name is actually Stephen Ward and he's at USCS. In the collapse scenario, there are not many escapees nearby from the bulge displacement. In his animation, the red is more than 60 feet of run-up with orange being 30 to 60 feet. The Sicilian and nearby coast to the north would be completely devastated by the wave. Some regions even flood for dozens of miles inland. Those would be the second hardest hit areas behind the actual flank collapse region, which does have a city on top of it. Up next, let's look at an animation from New Scientist Channel. Quickly here first, and then at relatively slowed down speed. Immediate coastlines will be overcome within minutes with all of that side of Sicily and the region to the north within the first half hour. Malta is partially shielded, but could still receive a power surge of 5 to 10 meters high about 50 minutes later, with Grecian coast taking it moments after that. There's a lot of African coastline to the south, with the first waves reaching about 75 to 90 minutes later, along with southern Greece. But with the bad geography inlet in Libya to the south of Benghazi, we see the next hour produce major risk at every inlet where water could funnel and build up along the border into Egypt. And... There, the waves become substantially smaller. However, the Port of Alexandria is in one of those bad geography inlets and could see a few meters of surge after about three hours. That's just as Cyprus begins seeing similar sized waves enter the Far Eastern Sea. Generally, the waves reaching the Far Eastern coast will be smaller, but any small inlets could be at risk of 5 to 15 meter surges depending on local geography. And any region considered a flatland would be at excess risk inland as well. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, something like this doesn't happen for a very long time, but allow it is going to happen. Be safe, everyone.